Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, I believe in to be and not to be. Today's video will be a short one, max 10 minutes, about flexibility is the new stability. At least flexibility is my new stability. I'm going to tell you why I think that is the case. Like being flexible at the moment gives me a very stable feeling. Of course, I grew up in the 90s. In the 90s, they told me uh, by owning a house and a few cars and a garden and a dog and a baby and all that stuff, you would feel stable by accumulating a lot of materialistic stuff. Now, for me, that is not the case anymore. We are living a minimalistic lifestyle now already for a couple of years, which means we don't focus on ownership. We focus still on wealth. Yes, we, we are pretty rich with all our Bitcoins, but we don't use them to buy a lot of stuff that we don't need or that gets us stuck. We want to stay flexible. And that flexible feelings gives me a very stable feeling if I see what is happening all over the world. All over the world, these strange things are happening, like lockdowns, all that stuff, it gives me an unstable feeling. I want to be able to take my five backpacks, my ledgers and my laptop and quickly move out of a situation if I don't like it anymore, as I believe life is there to be living. And life is not there to be forced into wearing face masks or getting in a lockdown or doing any other stuff that you don't wanna do. Even if you need to pay tax in a country that has not been taxing Bitcoin uh, for all that time. Now, for example, Portugal is discussing, ah, maybe we should 20, do a 28% uh, tax on Bitcoin. So that gives me again this feeling of, okay, do I want that? Do I agree with this? If I don't agree with this, am I able to leave this country as soon as possible? If I would have bought a house, if I would have owned a boat and all that stuff in this country, would I be able to move? Would I still be flexible? No, I wouldn't. I would be stuck because I would be needing to sell the house, I would be needing to sell the boat and all the materialistic stuff that I accumulated in that country. And I don't want to be in that situation with my family. I want to teach my children that flexibility is the new stability. You don't need to own that stuff to be feeling happy. You can use that stuff to feel happy as well. Use a beautiful house and pay for the months that you stay there. Use the boat and just pay for the days that you use it. Same with a car, same with all the other stuff. And that for me is a very stable feeling. Flexibility, being flexible, makes me feel very stable as I can do all the same stuff that all the other people are doing. But for me, it is possible to just move if I don't like it anymore. And it all doesn't always need to be negative stuff. It can also be moving because out of passion. Maybe I want to live in a winter landscape for a couple of years. I'm flexible. I can move like that. Maybe I want to live on a tropical island for a couple of years. I'm flexible. I can move like that. Maybe in the future, my kids will tell me, ah, but daddy, we want to live in the Netherlands again for a couple of months. I am flexible. I will be moving like that. And I think that is the important thing that people need to understand. Flexibility is the new stability. So in my opinion, now I want to know your opinion. What do you think about that? Do you feel stable by owning a lot of stuff? Do you feel stable by um, staying a very long time on the same location? Do you feel stable if you see what is happening all over the world now with our governments and everything and with currencies? Do you feel stable that they regulated all the dollar, the pounds, the euros to be almost equal to one now? One dollar is one euro is one pound. Don't you think that something is happening over there? Don't you think that they have the plan to place all those currencies um, with one currency? But then a central bank's digital currency that's very centralized, that they can freeze whenever they want, that they can take from you whenever they want? I do believe that. And that is why I am all into Bitcoin. And that is why I teach my kids, be in Bitcoin, live Bitcoin. It's about to be or not to be. By being in Bitcoin, you are flexible. I don't need to ask permission to a bank. Can I please take my money now to the next country? Can I please withdraw a little bit more cash because I need to buy something? You are living in a decentralized, permissionless way. I can just take my Bitcoins and move and spend them somewhere else. And nobody is able to stop me. That gives me a flexible feeling and also a very stable feeling because of that. 
Now, that is my opinion. Flexibility is a new stability. Let me know down below in the video what you think about this. Do you agree with me or are you like, nah Didi, now you're talking shit. I don't agree with you, but please do do a comment because YouTube likes it when you all guys give thumbs ups and do comments. Now, hopefully you enjoyed this short video. The flies start to attack me here in the morning. Um, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. Do you believe in flexibility is the new stability? Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Bam.